we're building stained glass windows. That's what we're doing. We're making beautiful stained glass windows. It's lots of fun. I like doing it. We like doing it. It's lots of fun, but you've got to decide what colours you want. That's the hard part. Well, it's the fun part too. I can never make up my mind what colours I want because there are so many choices. And one has one's favourite colours and colour affects mood, doesn't it? It does, it affects mood. How, I mean, how does that green make you feel, for example? But then look at this orange and yellow. I mean, it makes you feel completely different. Doesn't it? Colour therapy, I suppose. I've got to decide what colours we're going to use for the big bedroom window. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to use purple. So beautiful. Purple, deep purple. I'm tempted to use deep purple. It's a favourite of mine and it does affect my mood. I guess everyone's different. These bottles are actually a sort of purple colour, but in my little viewfinder here they look blue, but they're actually purple. And, uh, yes, they help me make up my mind. Look at this. This is a sort of amethyst colour. This is a piece of an electri electrical petticoat, those things that they have up on electric wires. It broke and I found it on the railway. And it's a sort of amethyst colour, and it's very beautiful. Look at it glistening in the sun. Magical. I've got to make up my mind. I have to make up my mind straight away about what colours we're going to use for this window. Look at them. Look at that. Look at how the world can be seen differently. Yes, I think plastic bottles. Plastic bottles are a good idea to help one make one's mind up. I think they are. Look, the bottles are casting a purple shadow on this piece of timber. Oops, it was casting a shadow on the piece of timber. So, when planning a stained glass window, it's a good and fun idea to play around with plastic bottles. These are just uh, empty vitamin bottles from the chemist. Good idea to get the mood to set the mood. It's a good idea.